starter motors are the topic du jour in the uh, DeLorean Facebook groups. Uh, specifically, owners who um, they go to turn the key in the ignition tumbler and either the starter motor doesn't turn or um, all they get are weird clicks um, and uh, the uh, advice that uh, some people are giving is to take the battery out of the car take it up to AutoZone and have it uh, load tested or uh, take the starter motor out of the car take it up to AutoZone and have them put it on their uh, starter testing machine um, I'm all for taking stuff to AutoZone and having it tested but um, before you go to all that trouble um, my recommendation is to try to start the engine from the engine compartment which is an old Ford trick and if the engine starts from the engine compartment then you know the battery is fine you know the starter motor is fine and you don't need to take anything off and take it up to AutoZone to have it tested and uh, all you're doing is just manually triggering the solenoid on the starter motor in the absence of all the circuitry that would ordinarily do it and uh, one way you can do it is you put a small gauge wire in the white bulkhead connector that has the two white with red um, wires coming out of it and uh, it needs to be a relatively small gauge wire 16 to 18 gauge because it's a pretty full uh, terminal already with those two wires hanging out of it but uh, just put a wire in there turn on ignition obviously and then touch the jump start post if the engine starts obviously the starter motor and the battery are fine um, another way you could do it um, there's multiple places where you can access the white with red wiring that triggers the uh, starter motor. Um, one place you could do it would be at the cold start injector. That's what this wire here is. I'm carbureted so I don't have a cold start injector. So what I did was I just repurposed the wiring that used to run over to the cold start injector as a... Uh, you know, a wire that I can just use to start my engine. If you've watched uh, any of my videos where, you know, I'm talking about ignition or whatever, uh, you'll see that I use that wire to start the engine. Uh, You've also got access to that wiring at the thermal time switch on the water pump. And you also have access to it at the trigger wire, the um, blue with yellow um, trigger wire for the uh, resistor grid bypass relay. Um, not the blue there are two blue with yellow wires one of them is what's actually powering the um the bypass but the other one is the uh, trigger wire that runs down to the solenoid and um unless you're running one of the starter motors where that trigger wire is on the uh, downhill side of the solenoid. Uh, I think some of the real early starter motors, um, the trigger wire is on the same side of the solenoid as the wiring going out to the starter motor proper. But if you've got like an Eagle Premier 
uh, starter motor or one of the others where they gang everything up on the uh, solenoid trigger terminal uh, that would be another access point but uh, if you have any doubt just use the cold start injector I mean that that's definitely this wire because that's what that wire is so that's what I would recommend doing before you start taking stuff off the car and dragging it up to AutoZone. As mentioned, um, triggering the starter motor from the engine compartment is an old Ford trick. Um, for many decades, Ford did not use starter solenoids that were attached to the starter motor but instead mounted the solenoid remotely on the passenger fender or sometimes passenger wheel well but usually the passenger fender so uh, any old Ford owner knows how to do what I just showed you on the DeLorean because Ford owners have been doing it for decades this is my solenoid So uh, you can use that same technique on a DeLorean and see if your engine starts. And if it does, you know that the solenoid and the motor, starter motor and the battery and all that is good.